From CNY Central, this is Today in Central New York. And we're standing up today to get ahead of the bushes that uh, Carol has brought in to show you. Uh, these are late summer bloomers, aren't they, they are, Carol? And they are so glorious in the area yeah. this year. They love the sun. Yep. They're Rose of Sharon. Okay, which a lot of people have seen. Um, I think pink is probably the most typical color, but you brought in some white and light pink varieties, right. too. Right, and these are all the doubles. Unfortunately, my singles were closed up tight. Okay, because they're like hibiscus. They open right, and close. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the singles are very nice. They're... Uh, big hibiscus type flower. Yeah. Some of them have a, a dark center. And as we say, they are summer bloomers and they're also drought tolerant, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. They're very happy with um, the drought. This actually, you can see the yellow leaf here. Yeah. We've been over watering it. Uh. Okay, there you go. Um, let's talk about a couple of the things up in front. And uh, I'm real excited to see the blooms on this plant. I just planted one of these uh, from you also. It's a caryopteris. Yeah, um, it's a, a great plant. It's interesting how it blooms. You see it kind of goes right up the stem. Yeah. Uh, blue flowers and the leaves are kind of a brighter green, yeah. kind of a pistachio green right. almost. Right, yeah, it comes yeah. in um, also the traditional green. Okay. But this is a great plant for butterflies and bees. Oh, all right, yeah. And it has a nice fragrance. Yes, it does. It only gets about two to three foot um, tall, so there you it's go. very nice, because the, the Rosa Sharon, most of them will get about seven yeah. to eight foot tall. Yeah, and you really can't prune these, can you? Well, you know, it's so much better if you don't, because yeah. they have such a pretty shape all on their own. So put them someplace that they have room and they can make this glorious uh, fashion yeah. statement this time so of year. So my caryopteris is at the front of my garden, and I can't wait. Uh, yes. I hope the hummingbirds like it, too. Yeah. Okay, and then this one we're really excited about. You know, lilacs that bloom around Mother's Day? Well, this one is about to be in bloom again. Right, these are the new rebloomers, okay. and they're a very nice lilac because they only get four foot tall. Okay. So you have a lot more options as uh -huh. to where to place them. Okay. And it has the same nice fragrance. Okay. So it's that's so. a nice shrub. And then there's one hiding here, Laura. Yes, there is. It's a brand new Rose of Sharon, and it's variegated. Uh-huh. Which is nice. And there also is a new Rose of Sharon that is a dwarf. Okay. So, so if you don't want the seven that. foot tall <laughs> right. plant, you have those options too. You know, a lot of people think summertime gardening flowers, but really bushes uh, really add so much to the garden. They do. And I think especially this year with the Rose of Sharon showing such a robust um, habit yeah. that, you know, yeah. more people are thinking of it. I, I've never particularly wanted one, but I'm going to plant one this year. Okay, there you go. And if the gardener does it, you <laughs> ought to probably do it too. Thank you so much for bringing these in. Sure. Um, there's a lot more gardening to go outside before we hit frost. No Absolutely. question. And Carol will be back again next Saturday with more for you. Okay. Meantime, if you'd like to see what she's talking about up close, Watson Greenhouse is on Sentinel Heights Road in Lafayette. There is their phone number and their website. Have a great week. Thanks. And we'll be right back.